Hi, this is Sharon Macklis, Director of Editorial Data and Analytics at IDG Communications. In this second episode of Do More with R, we'll see how dplyr's case when function helps avoid a lot of nested if-else statements. For data, I have a list of U.S. states and their estimated populations, which you can see here. I also set up R variables showing which states are in each region. And you can see that here. First, let me load the state population data and the U.S. regions vectors into R, and also load the dplyr package. I'll source this file here. Then let's look at the structure of the data. I'll use the basic str base r command. And you can see it's got two columns, one with state names and one with populations. The task is to assign each state to its proper region. There are a couple of different ways to do this. One common way is to use r's if else function. In R, if you want to run an if statement across an entire vector at once, you typically use the special ifelse function. That's ifelse, all one word. In this case, it might look something like this. This does work if you've only got a few alternatives, but I find that format difficult to read with more than a couple of options. And it's easy for me to make mistakes with closing parentheses or commas in the wrong place. And by easy to make mistakes, I mean I've got a lot of experience with that. And what if I want to assign states by division instead of region? These are the US Census Bureau divisions. That would be nine levels of nested if-elses. dplyr's case when has an easier format. So here's the syntax. Each if-then condition has its own line. The condition if test is on the left, then there's a tilde, and then the value is on the right. Each line needs a comma at the end except for the last one. And if you want to have a catch-all value for everything you haven't explicitly defined, put the last condition as true. I'm not sure why it's true, but it is. And then that catch-all value on the right, and then you're done. Let me show you a simple example testing whether a few numbers are even, odd, or if they're not whole integers, neither. I'll create a vector of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5.7. Then we'll create a case when to see whether they're even or odd. If the remainder when dividing by 2 is 0, the number is even. If the remainder is 1, it's odd. Otherwise, it's neither. So the results here should be odd, even, odd, even, neither. Let me run the code here. And you can see we have odd, even, odd, even, neither as the results here. Now let's see what that looks like for the state region example. Here I'm importing my state population file into R, then adding a column called division with dplyr's mutate function. The values of division are based on the case when statement. If the state name is in my vector of northeast states, then I'll assign the value northeast, and so on. Let me run this code. And then let's look at the results. Looks good. All the states have an assignment. See. Spot check, New York in the Northeast, Texas in the South. And I'm just going to check to make sure there's no other assignment. So everything has an assignment. Looks good. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. For more R tips, head to the More With R video page at bit.ly slash more with R. That's B-I-T period L-Y slash more with R, all lowercase except for the R. So long.